Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. World War III shock. Watch US bunker buster missile used to decimate Syria chemical plant. Shocking footage has been released showing the bunker busting long range missile used to decimate Syrian chemical weapons factories in action. The April 14 Allied airstrikes on Damascus and Homs saw two B 1 Lancers fired a total of 19 joint air to surface standoff missiles, JAS, as part of strikes against three Syrian government alleged chemical weapons targets, which critics worried could lead to World War III. According to the Russian state television, Two unexploded missiles were found by the Syrian Arab Army and transferred to Russia on April 18 for analysis to be conducted. There was some confusion because initial reports claimed JAS ER missiles were used, but it was later clarified that baseline JAS models were employed. The training footage that has been released shows the long range missile plummeting towards a test target. A separate clip shows a bridge covering a fighter jet, but the missile absolutely decimates both targets at the same time. Designed by Lockheed Martin, the precision-guided missiles use an anti-jam GPS navigation system to fly on their predetermined route. Britain and France have angrily accused Russia of a despicable stunt after Moscow brought a series of alleged witnesses to what it claims was a staged Syrian gas attack before the International Chemical Weapons Watchdog. Russian and Syrian officials held a briefing at the Hague headquarters of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW where they produced a number of Syrians who, they said, appeared in a video of the suspected attack on the rebel-held town of Doma on April 7. The Kremlin claims the incident, which led the US, Britain and France to launch punitive missile strikes against a series of Syria regime targets, was faked by the White Helmets Search and Rescue Group. Britain's ambassador to the OPCW, Peter Wilson, who boycotted the briefing along with other Western allies, said it was a deliberate attempt by the Russians undermine the work of OPCW inspectors who are trying to establish what happened in Doma. He strongly condemned the Russian description of Syrians who appeared in the video footage as unwitting comedians and said reports of widespread intimidation of witnesses to the incident were a matter of real concern. Britain has said up to 75 people died in the incident which it and other Western powers blame on the regime of President Bashar Assad. Mr. Wilson said, the OPCW is not a theater. Russia's decision to misuse it is yet another Russian attempt to undermine the OPCW's work, and in particular the work of its fact-finding mission investigating chemical weapons use in Syria. Describing chemical weapons victims as comedians is despicable. It shows the utter disregard Russia and Syria have for the suffering of the Syrian people, and indeed the global norm against chemical weapons use. The Director General, of the OPCW, has asked states to supply information about the DOMA attack to his fact-finding mission. Russia and Syria should do so, instead of waging a propaganda campaign of misinformation. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.